This is the result, the T4 phage through the cryogenic microscope. Its head gives a pattern like that of a fingerprint. Magnified even more, this image turns out to be the phage's DNA, its genetic material. Research like this has given us a detailed picture of how a T4 phage is built on its DNA blueprint. The head of this phage resembles a geodesic dome with 20 facets. Inside a coiled molecule of genetic material is the organism's reproductive blueprint. The head itself is made of four very specific proteins. A phage cannot move independently. It floats in water till it comes in contact with an E. coli bacterium. Then part of its protein changes as the phage anchors itself to the bacterium. Next, as if winding a mechanical spring, the tail in purple changes shape and drives the central core into the bacillus. The phage injects E. coli with its own genetic material. The phage's genetic ribbon breaks down the bacteriums, then begins using the same material to create copies of itself. The newly formed phage genetic molecule starts producing new protein components one after another. First the head, then tail fibers and so on. The blueprint for the necessary proteins is located at specific sites on the genetic molecule. Only when protein components for new phages have been assembled does the genetic ribbon enter its newly made head. Then the head attaches a tail followed by a tail fibers the result is a newly made phage. Nature handles this operation with a remarkable economy of effort. 25 minutes after locking onto a bacterium, the T4 phage has multiplied itself a hundredfold. The T4 phage illustrates the amazing abilities of living beings to reproduce by encoding for their own special proteins. Though we take ourselves for granted, that wonder includes us.